Variants allow you to save sets of input values for programs that you often start with the same selection. You can use them for any programs except subroutine pools, type S. You can also use variants to change the appearance of the selection screen by hiding selection criteria. This is particularly useful when you are working with large selection screens on which not all of the fields are relevant. In dialog mode, you can also make the selection screen easier to read, because you can use them to hide input fields. Running an executable program with a variant containing an optimal set of values also reduces the capacity for user error. Variants are the only method for passing values to a report program in a background job. To avoid you having to create a new variant each time you run the report, ABAP contains a mechanism allowing you to pass variable values to variants which means to avoid having to create a new variant each time you use different values. Hi there. Let me show you how our training courses work in this short sample lesson. Just follow the on-screen instructions now showing the video simulation on how to create variants. Enter the transaction code SE38 in the command field. Press enter. The following screen will open. Now, type the name of the program for which you want to create variant. Choose the variant from sub-objects. Then click on change. Note, that particular program should have a selection screen. Following screen will open. Now enter the name of the variant you want to create then click on create button. Following screen will open. Click on the multiple selection to define a range for variants. Click on the square box to select the range of values. Now click on copy button. Now your range has been selected. Now, click on the attributes. Following screen will open. Enter the short description here then click on save. Now your variant is created. You can check your variant. Go to the ABAP variants initial screen click on square. This is the variant you created. You can check the variant by executing the program. Now click on variant symbol. Now select the variant by double clicking it. Now click on execute button. This is the output within the variant range. End of slide, thank you.